G'day everybody, welcome back to Enshrouded. Hope you guys are doing well, we're out here in the Black Mire, just cleaning up the area of any of those objectives that we have. There's one more and look, there's possibly a few more things that we haven't unlocked in the area, but I figure maybe we start the episode by checking this one off and then sort of moving on and deciding what to do next after that. So let's head on to the spire so we can, you know, quickly float our way down to where we need to go. Uh, it is a good time to probably have some food at this point, so let's just have some hazelnuts and uh, we're going to have to sort of eat a little bit more as we go down there, but uh, I'm not entirely sure what this thing is. It could be yet another shroud root. And speaking of shroud roots, uh, we hit up another shroud root over here in which I actually got really, really lost. I think I ended up sort of just removing quite a bit of the footage because it was literally just me sort of running backwards and forwards in that cave, not really understanding where I needed to go. And I eventually came across this pathway that I just didn't see before, or perhaps maybe it was just a little bit too dark for us to uh, really, uh, I guess, identify properly. I'm just going to quickly land here and uh, get a little bit closer to where we need to go. It's actually a little bit difficult to to get up there. Get rid of him to make sure that he doesn't disturb us while we're up here. Uh, I'm not sure where this is pointing to, but we do have a bit of a VUCA village going on over here. Um, surely there's a way to actually get up there. Maybe from down here somewhere. Uh, have we been up here before? I think we have actually. So, probably not a place that we need to hang around in and explore. But I think we can maybe use this as a bit of a jumping platform to get to the next place. Alright, this tree... I'm not sure if we've actually been here before. Possibly we have. A lot of these places start looking very similar to each other, so a bit difficult to tell if you have been to a place or not. Um, I'm sort of trying to figure out if there's a way we can, whoops, possibly sort of get up further uh, so we can sort of jump from a bit more of a height, but I guess we're going to have to settle with um, where we landed, and we're just gonna have to go by foot from here. A lot of enemies chasing us. Okay, a few of them have broken aggro already. And I've just realized, guys, that um, I've left the altar in this spot. I guess it's not too bad though, because we do have space for an additional altar anyway, so I should be able to place it down. I'm just looking at some of our stuff here, which uh, seems to be running out of durability, so we might want to go back home sometime soon, though maybe it's not entirely necessary. Most of the enemies here are level 15 anyway, so maybe we can just switch to the other sword when we need to. Location is below us apparently. And is it a shroud route? That is the big question. My money is on it being yes, there is probably a shroud route down there. How do we get down there though? That's the question. There must be some kind of a cave entrance. What is this? Alright, so this leads 
down to another shrouded area. Which I could end up exploring if I wanted to. I'm just gonna see where this pathway takes us, because... Going towards where the shroud is doesn't exactly bring us close to our objective. Or does it? Let's see, what else can we have? Maybe a Rubos tea? Hmm. It almost feels like perhaps maybe there's a cave entrance down in the shroud. Let me continue this way. Okay, we've got this interesting looking tree. I'm guessing maybe more Vuka in this general area. actually see any VUCA. Maybe just one dead one right here. What is going on here? There's a sword on top of this very strange looking pile of dirt. Um, what I might do is actually dig around here. Let's see if there's anything. Plated block. Okay. Cool. Um, so another type of building material. Um, I guess this is part of the hidden crafting recipes in the Blackmire. Possibly. Um, I think this is all that we're supposed to find. I'm not really seeing any other pathway. Though, if I really wanted to, I could probably climb up. Alright, um... So we need to go in that general direction. But I feel like we're maybe just gonna hit mountains. I think maybe going into the shroud is the only option. So what I might do... is... set ourselves up right here. And what we can do then is go into the shroud and we can always sort of respawn here when we need to but since we've just set this thing up we may as well go and repair our gear that way we don't have to sort of switch things out later on. Yeah, for all I know, this could be another confusing, um, shroud route that's very difficult to get to, like the last one. But, uh, here's hoping that it's going to be simple. I really do need to pick up all of my altars again, just do a bit of a cleanup in the area.
So yeah, apparently it's around here, but just below us, so... If we go down... Maybe take a, um, Shroud Survival Flask. I'm thinking... There should be a cave entrance somewhere. Okay, I was not expecting tar in this area. That's quite interesting. Oh, tar here as well. So, traversal is a tiny bit tougher. Yeah, definitely a cave here, so let's hope it's less confusing than the last. looking at all of our stuff we do have a lot of things on us but uh, luckily I do already know where the root is so that's a plus is it as simple as just going down there or we need to try and get there another way I feel like there's a space above us which could either be the pathway or perhaps maybe contain some treasure or something. Okay, it's I guess just as simple as approaching it from here. Too easy. <laughs> I was thinking there might be a little bit more. Okay, so with that done, um, I'm thinking, yeah, we want to maybe just go to our altars. Let's pick those altars up and then do um, a few bits and pieces around the home. Like building and stuff. Let's take this down as well. I mean, I'm banking on not really needing to return here, but if we do need to, we can always just float with the spire or from the spire. Um,. Yeah, there's the matter of completing this objective, hidden crafting recipes in the Blackmire. Um, I don't know how many we've found, and I don't think it's actually going to tell us where to find them exactly, right? So you just have to do more exploration. So we could maybe hit up this area. Or maybe even look in the shroud a little bit more to see if there are any treasures hidden away. Um, so yeah, I guess in hindsight I could have done that. Let's go home first and let's do a little bit of building. The only thing that I really want to achieve with our building at the moment is uh, to be able to just place down another source of heat. And obviously we need to enclose that, so let's do that initially. Actually, I do have a lot of stuff. I, I might need to go to the old home and um, drop a few things. Let's do that.
I've got a lot of these ammonia glands. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with all of those just yet. Uh, tin ores. Yeah, I guess I could put the tin ores away. Maybe in the smelter. I should stash the sparks. I keep forgetting that we do have a bit of space here. Maybe I can keep some of my instruments here, to be honest. Maybe just the drums. I'll keep the flute for now. Um, yeah, looking good. Let me head to Wistful Fields. These new building blocks, um, yeah, I have no idea if I would ever use these, but I may as well just take a look at what these do for us. Huh, okay. Plated block. I wonder if we need, like, some kind of wood or maybe even plant fibers or something like that. Let's um, undo that. That's not a bad look, if you're going for that aesthetic. Um, it feels very tropical. But uh, yeah, probably not what we're going for. Let's grab that and... All of our other building materials here, so... Gonna need the fried brick, the... I think we're using the weathered stone blocks and the half-timbered blocks. And if we do want to make a start on roofs, then maybe we'll need the roof tile blocks as well. Yeah, let's start with that. Maybe I'll bring these as well, just in case. And we can start putting things down. Um, I will throw in those, and I think I'll also throw in these. If I'm not mistaken, this is where it needs to go. Can I put stuff in here, but tell the machine not to work on stuff? Or is that impossible? Maybe it is kind of impossible, isn't it? Yeah, I don't have space for anything else here. So, I'm gonna have to carry the ammonia glands. I'll, um, maybe leave them back at the first base when I get the chance. Yeah, I definitely need more of the grilled bird meat. And I haven't really been getting too many. So yeah, we'll let that cook away. All right, so let's try and get this in. I think we can probably snap this in to that position. And now we just need to sort of enclose it somehow. Probably going to do one block at a time here. Let me just have a look at what's going on over this side with our brazier sticking out. Ah, oh, I do need maybe rough stone blocks. I forgot about those. It's getting late. Probably want to have a sleep.
Sorry. I did say I needed the stone blocks, didn't I? Getting ahead of myself. So, I suppose the first thing we need to do is just, like, cover this completely. Whoops. Um, it's not what we want. Like so. I think that's all symmetrical, right? And then from here, we'll start looking into using more fried brick. Does it make sense to have weathered stone? I'm sorry, not weathered stone. Um, rough stone here. Just a, a little bit of rough stone aesthetic poking out. Uh, perhaps maybe you can argue for rough stone being um, part of the um, the back wall as well, like here. Because that's technically what we have going above us. Looks a little weird, doesn't it? <laughs> I wonder if there is some kind of wooden aesthetic that we can give it that might make it look nicer. I don't know. I don't know if I like that look or not. Um, I much prefer what we have going on in the basements in this home. So if we take a look at this, I mean that looks very nice and clean. I wonder if I need to enclose it even more. Um, perhaps maybe using, I think this is the fancy stone block, right? So, can I perhaps maybe play around with some fancy stone block? And perhaps maybe we can get something that looks fancier as a result. Yeah, 
Yeah, maybe we don't need those pieces and maybe we just simply need to use the fancy stone. Maybe we could even argue to bring things down a little bit more. Yeah, this is going to be tricky, guys. Let's see what happens if we bring all of this down. And then we try and pop this into the same exact spot. Like so. Does that make sense? Hmm. Might be getting somewhere. Hmm, how do we feel about this? Uh, I don't know about the aesthetic that it's giving us in those corners. I think something that, like this could work. Perhaps maybe I could add in a little bit more fancy stone, like so. Okay, that looks decent. And it sort of gives us the illusion that there is a chimney funneling the smoke from this fireplace. What if I add a little bit of 
stone there. Or a fancy stone. Yeah, so it gives us more of that wooden aesthetic. Which I don't mind, actually. I just had a thought though, guys, that um, I didn't account for, I guess, the same thing that we didn't account for when we uh, put in the fireplace on the upper floor, and that is to actually bring it back by one additional tile, because... Uh, Technically, there's supposed to be a chimney behind it, right? So, maybe we might need to do that. So, but I think we should be able to achieve that relatively quickly. Because we don't have to... Like... Um, take down the entire wall. We just need to take down a segment of it. Yeah, so technically what we want to do is just get rid of this. we put in the rough stone. Um, hang on. One second. One, two, three... Yeah, okay, my bad. Um, we need to go back by one. So... Great, now, with that done, we should be able to get this um, in, and in at the right spot as well, so, there. Which would then mean that most of the stuff out here can be a bit less prominent.
I mean, it might not be so bad to have certain parts of it to come out a little bit more, but... Let's play around. So... I, mean, I could... bring... some of that up... to the front a little bit. think might be good though is adding some of this in. And yeah, let's go back to the fancy stone. So now I'm sort of questioning whether or not this is the right look. Um, and whether or not I want to keep this little section here. Should I replace it with... Um, flintstone, for example. Just double checking on making sure that this is the same thing as our, um, our wool. Hmm. Maybe. Just trying to see if there's a way we can make it a little simpler. add a little bit more of that wooden aesthetic which might look a little nicer than just having the fried brick constantly I'm questioning whether or not I need these here. Maybe it looks perfectly fine that way. Oh, 
All right. I think I'm pretty happy with it, guys. Um, we've got the chimney sort of right behind this and the um, rough stone blocks, which I like as the aesthetic for the uh, insides of it. Uh, and yeah, we have the illusion of a chimney, I would like to think. Um, I wonder if we might need to work on the upper section a little bit more though. Uh, let me just see if I can pick this up and just fix this section up a little bit. If I get rid of that. It's a little hard to see though. Hmm. Okay, uh, almost didn't really change too much. Am I not using the fancy stone blocks? I am, apparently, but I'm not getting the, the style that I'm thinking of getting. Why is that? Oh, it's probably because the, um, what? That is so strange. Uh, let me just get a handle in just so that we can sort of look at what we're doing here a little bit better. So what do I feel like this is just the rough stone block sort of sticking out? Oh hang on, we are using flintstone there. That's also flintstone. Yeah, okay. Okay. I think that looks a little bit better. Huh. Trying to... Yep, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Trying to get that candle. God, alright. So, that looks good. Um, I think what we'll do... is... Um, we'll likely make a start on just exploring some more of the Black Mire. Um, and I sort of ignored most of the Shroud. Perhaps maybe we shouldn't do that if we're to find uh, these hidden crafting recipes. So let's go ahead and, and go back. And yeah, I'm just going to have a a quick look around. Hopefully we can be semi-thorough. I think I'll have a chamomile tea. So it should be in this general direction. Yeah, but I'm pretty happy with um, the basement 
uh, fireplace. I think with all of the fireplaces now uh, in place, we can start thinking about completing other components of our base, or at least that particular structure. Do I want to do the right thing and make myself an altar? Probably. Probably advisable. So if we do need to respawn here, we can. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking for out here. But if we see, like, structures, villages, or anything along those lines, I suppose we should be investigating and checking whether or not there's, like, treasures hidden away. Hmm. I'll just have a look again. Oh, hang on. Before we do anything, let's just make sure that we're dealing with all these enemies here. Alright. Um, hmm. I feel like... Maybe we need to go this way. We have sort of looked around this area. So yeah, let's uh, let's go for that. Probably should have planned where we want to go before actually going into the shroud, but. There's a little pocket here, I guess, where the shroud hasn't really infected or touched. And of course, some VUCA are hanging around. We'll see if they have stuff for us to take. I feel like they've got a nice little secluded area here, these Vuka. Ooh. Um, I've got some nice maple leaves to enjoy. Um, I didn't bank on uh, it getting so dark while we were out. So uh, I'm just gonna quickly have a sleep. We'll probably have to just restart from the outside of the shrouded area, but we know where to go, so it shouldn't really be too difficult to try and get back here.
I wonder if it might be a good idea for us to also just do another altar out there where we found the VUCA. I suppose we do have the ability to put down one more anyway, so maybe it's not such a big deal to place it down right away or to um, break down the, the one that we've just put down. I think we can maybe just leave that. wasn't too painful. Yeah, there must still be a bunch of stuff over this way, or I'm just looking at where this is potentially leading us. I see, I see. So, uh, I think this is leading us back to this giant tree and giant VUCA colony. It's got me thinking about whether or not the VUCA are actually native from uh, this particular biome. What's up? Yeah, I think this is definitely leading us away. Yeah, with any luck, we might find something if we go further up. Um, let's just double check the rooms. Nice bit of clay here. Probably not the best place to try and source some clay though. Ooh. We do have this big tree here. Seems to be an opening. Prayers of the Flame Scroll. Plus 20% magic damage. Plus one minute time in the shroud. Yeah, I suppose we'll take all of that. It's fine. Um, but is that all this place is giving us? It might be. In which case, that might be a little bit disappointing. Hmm. Alright. I'm gonna try and swing around this way. See if we can find anything. But, uh, yeah, with the... crafting recipes being sort of hidden away, I wonder if it might not be a bad idea for us to maybe do some research between episodes and uh, to see if we can sort of identify where they're going to be and try and complete them that way rather than um, randomly, you know, going in various directions and hoping for the best. Is there 
anything that we've missed up here? I think there is. Yeah, let's go this way. And perhaps maybe we'll be able to find more VUCA or more interesting things. Special? Not exactly. Right, further up we go. like some kind of a pathway which leads to yes some treasure so yeah maybe that's one of the the crafting recipes let's hope that it is come on then okay Just trying to see what these people were doing. I guess they were just like enjoying a, a nice bottle of wine before the end of the days as they knew it. Nope. Just a pair of trousers. <laughs> so that's a little bit disappointing. Uh, we can continue upwards, but I guess this leads to the big tree that we've been to. even get us up there? Ooh, hang on, I do see that. Yep. Okay, very good. Treetop VUCA settlement. Yes, okay. I guess this is um, the place that we have been to before. I mean, this settlement is so large that it is likely that we may have missed stuff in it. So I don't know about going in again without really any information to back up uh, whether or not there's anything worthwhile. But uh, anyway, this is probably where we'll call this episode. Uh, in the next one, I reckon we might continue on with even more building and uh, perhaps maybe trying to get that roof in uh, once and for all. And after the roof is uh, settled, we should be able to start dividing the room a little bit more into, well, dividing the space rather into rooms that uh, will sort of place all of the crafting people in. So hope you guys look forward to that. Anyway, signing out. Hope you enjoyed this one, leave a like if you did, a dislike if you didn't, otherwise stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.